In this video, we're going to add a door to our storage unit. In order to add a door into an assembly, you have to be at the assembly level. Click the door icon. If that icon doesn't put a door in, it means you're not in the correct level. So you double click and then you're all set. Remember, double click to go into that assembly level. I'm going to look at the drawer, which is 13 inches wide. So this door is going to be the same. And the left edge of that drawer was 4. So I have that set up. I look at the top of that rail and I see the top is 16 so the bottom of this the bottom of the door is 16 and I'm going to change the top I click on the upper rail and while I'm here I'm going to rename it and notice its bottom value is 45 so we're going back to the door change the top of the door to 45, change its height. Now I double click on the door level to get to that working level and insert a, a board. Just checking it's going to go into the door. This is the material. Grain direction is going to be height. The width is 13. The height I can pick up right from the spreadsheet is 29. And the depth is going to be 3 quarters because that's the thickness. Now if I add the board, go back, double click the assembly level. I see my door is there. Clone and mirror and the door is completed. You can of course make it into a five part door. Going back to double click this door, get to the door level and click that. Make this two inches wide. Call this the left style. Clone and mirror, where that becomes the right style. I'm going to insert another board, the same material, grain width, I'm going to leave the width, just take an estimate at that, height will be 2, depth will be 3 quarters, and again that's the thickness. Add the board, so I've done essentially the insert stage, and a little bit of the size, and a little bit of the locate. Take that red dot, hold down the shift key, and it snaps in there. Clone. From the bottom to the top. This is top rail. This is top rail. One more time. What I want to do is just check to make sure I've got that grain direction the right way. 
Let's look in the materials section. And actually, I did have the grain direction correct in both cases. Take that board, clone it again, move its left to two towards the right, red dot, click that, shift red dot to snap that up in there. The bottom is going to be two, changing the height, and the top is going to be 27, changing the height, and if I change the material and make the thickness a quarter inch, clicking the front, that sets it back just a bit. If I go to the assembly level, you can see the difference in the doors. Take this and delete that, clone and mirror that. And there's our final project rendered.